We came to Sydney around four years back and immediately fell in love with the city. The place, the people, the food, the weather, there is everything positive about it. Over the period of time, we visited a lot of places and we took a number of videos. But today, we are out as a tourist in our own city. When someone says Sydney, the image of Opera House is the first thing that comes to mind. This is the most iconic landmark of the city. And for every tourist, this is the starting point of exploring Sydney. The construction of Opera House was initially planned for four years, but it ended up taking 14 years to complete this incredible masterpiece. Now some interesting facts. The temperature inside the opera house is kept at 22.5 degrees just to keep the instruments of the orchestra in tune. And every year more than 15,000 light bulbs are changed to keep the structure lit properly. That's amazing. <laughs> Sydney has a lot of parks, the most famous being the Royal Botanic Garden. It also hosts the famous Vivid Sydney during the winter, which is an event for light and music. Last year, we also came here to witness the open air cinema. The view was just stunning with the opera house in the back, the harbour bridge view. It was just awesome. <laughs> Another iconic landmark that we see in all Sydney photos is the Harbour Bridge. It is almost 100 years old and is world's largest steep arc bridge. It is also known as the coat hanger as the Sydney siders call it affectionately because of the shape of the uh, bridge. Interesting fact. Did you know that the bridge is continuously painted because by the time you reach the end, the process starts back again. <laughs> One activity that you can do in the Sydney Harbour Bridge is actually walk on top of the Harbour Bridge, as you can see there. Just in front of the Harbour Bridge is the Sydney port for all international cruises. You can also take a ferry ride from here to some of the popular places like Taronga Zoo and Manly. There are lots of water sports like jet boarding, kayaks that you can go for in this harbour. So we are having some food in the opera kitchen. We have ordered some bruschetta and some croissant. Almond croissant? Yep. Yeah. How is it? It's very good. Yeah. The flaking is really good with the almond flavor. Not very sweet. Very good. Taking the ferry, we have come to the Barangaroo area. This is a business district and most of the offices are located here, including mine. My office is just right here.
on the waterfront there are lots of restaurants which are located we used to always come here for lunches or or our office parties I really miss my office it has been almost 2 years we haven't been coming to office because of the covid restrictions hopefully we'll be back soon In Darling Harbour there are different attractions that you can enjoy with family and kids there is sea life madam tussaud wildlife and also maritime museum Within Sydney, there are over 100 beaches. The most popular one is the Bondi Beach. Today we are not going there, but here are some clips from our previous visits. One of my favorite place to shop in Sydney is QVB. It's home to over 180 retail shops. The heritage architecture and ambience makes it a unique shopping experience. Sydney is not only fabulous in day, it's also gorgeous at night. As the sun sets, it transforms into this sparkling city. Your Sydney trip is not complete without a visit to Blue Mountains. A day trip to check out stunning lookout points and waterfalls. We have visited Blue Mountains a number of times. Check out the video link in the description box. Hope you like the glimpse of our city. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See, See you on, on the, the next trip. trip.